like my budget this month was really really bad and I know I can pay it off but it's just like figuring it out am I gonna take off for my savings or did I actually have enough from what I accumulated over the month of March and yeah hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Linda and today's video I am gonna go over the March budgeting and then resetting for April so March felt like such a long month and I think it was because February was such a short month and Feb and March had like five Fridays and I count my months by the Fridays that there are, like how many Fridays are there? <laughs> and there was five Fridays in March and it just felt like such a long month. And I know I had trouble with my budget because I spent a lot and I haven't really kept track, but I kind of already know how much I spent, which is like, a lot too <laughs> so also I just came from my trip uh, from Arizona and that was a lot of fun we left Friday came back Tuesday which was yesterday so I'm filming today Wednesday I know I spent a lot there too but at least like January February March I was saving for my trip so I did see how much I spent I didn't spend the entire amount this was my savings challenge budget binder and I need to see how much money I actually did save too <laughs> I should have done it before I went to my trip but I didn't have time because we left on Saturday and I was gonna do my budgeting on Friday but like Friday my mom came over we ate and then I started cleaning the office I would clean my my bedroom and then I started packing I just took up the whole night I didn't sleep until like 1 a.m. and we left to our trip uh, around 6 a.m. so I went with my best friend and her little sister and we she picked me up here at 6 a.m. we just like drove straight from there and it was like about like six seven hours to get there we got there by i want to say four at the latest because we did take a couple stops we did when um we did eat at like on route 66 and it was a lot of fun so i'll like put a little preview like what i did for my trip but um it was relaxing i really felt like i needed something just to like get out of i guess in my own bubble here and then just explore a little bit more but it was a lot of fun but anyways i didn't tell you guys what i'm drinking i'm drinking a matcha that i made and i can finally have coffee and gotten it now too so on my trip on the first day of saturday i just had matcha and i didn't have anything with me that day either but then on sunday monday and tuesday i had my first sip of coffee on sunday i want to say yeah on sunday we went to a gas station to get gas well we went to a gas station before we went on our hiking trip that we did and I got like those um, Starbucks um, ones I, that are in the convenience store or whatever. And I saw one that said caramel with oat milk and I wanted to try it. It was okay. It was really, really sweet though. And then the next day, I didn't even drink that much coffee to be honest. We went to a cafe and I had my lavender iced matcha, which was really good too. It was pretty sweet too. So maybe like my my palate changed a little bit. But that's like the only coffee that I really had. I didn't really have coffee too much i had more, mostly matcha and then before we left the, for the trip we went to dutch bros and i had the chai the strawberry chai orchata latte i think and it was so good i've never had it but my sister my sister's my but my friend's sister ordered that and i'm like i want to try that and it's super sweet but i really like that it tastes like the nesquik um powder but the strawberry one and it just brought back memories when i was little <laughs> but anyways i need to see how much money i actually do have here it should be a thousand five hundred which is what I budgeted for the trip and I spent I want to say one thousand but I need to check how much I actually did spend too because um with hotel food and gas like it all added up and then I bought some souvenirs too for my family I bought chocolates too so uh, I bought a bunch of stuff and I think I did okay with my budget for the trip now I am going on another trip in like two days um, my sisters and I were gonna go to Las Vegas and we're gonna see like this little exhibit at the Bellagio It's like a tea party exhibit. I'm really really excited I don't know how much that would be but whatever is left over from my vacation budget binder um, is what I'm gonna be spending and Yeah, so I need to go over how much I spent for the month of March I need to reset what I want to spend or what my budgeting is for the month of April and I'm gonna pay a few of my credit cards today too because I know today's the third and I know one of my credit card statements is available today the other one isn't available until the sixth so um, I'll probably pay like half of that for now and then pay the other half on the sixth when it comes out but at least like I like seeing my credit card statements like at a zero or 
once I get the statements, I like paint it off right away because I just know it's like a reset for me. Like, okay, I have I have spent zero dollars in this credit card, zero dollars in this credit card, something like that. But this month, I am gonna do something different. Last month, what I did is I didn't take out any money. I just had it transferred to a separate banking account. So now I have two checking accounts. One is my checking accounts for my bills, like for um, all the bills that I have, and then the next one is like whatever is left over goes into that. And my goal is like whatever amount I have in there, I'm only going to spend a certain amount and then put the rest towards savings instead. So that's the goal that I did last month for the month of March. And I think it was a little bit challenging just because I wasn't holding the money as much and I kind of overspent too. So that was my lesson learned. So for this month, what I am going to do is I'm going to pull out the cash that I'm going to spend, which is usually $950 that I've been like taking out to spend for the rest of the month. Um, but this time, because I no longer have this saving challenge, and so it's going to free up some money, I need to like, see where I can put this money that I was saving up for somewhere else, like allocated somewhere else, and just kind of figure out what I want to do. Because I also have like, a new savings challenge that I want to do. Like I want to do one for my hair because I, and I started noticing my hair started growing out really fast, so I want to get that retouched. And then for my birthday, I want to have like a little birthday party here at home and I want to order food. So and we'll see exactly how much it's going to be too. So I want to start saving up for that as well. Um, but I think that's it. So I'm going to get started in seeing how much money I actually did save in my savings challenge. And it should be a hundred. No, it should be a thousand five hundred and i'm gonna start going over my numbers for the month of march and letting you guys know how much i actually did spend because i already know one of my credit card statements is over 900 and i think the other one is two and it's a lot <laughs> so i have to see like how am i going to be able to pay this off too because i mean i didn't really like my budget this month was really really bad and i know i can pay it off but it's just like figuring it out am i going to take off for my savings or did i actually have enough from what I accumulated over the month of March. And yeah, so let me get started on checking how much money I have here. we split between us three so this was the money that my friends they gave me so I'm just gonna put that aside and then let's see how much money I actually have here statement and see how much I've spent and I'm kind of really scared to see so I did spend a lot on my bank statement I spent I have two credit cards that I pay for I pay one for like my Bank of America and then one for discover so for my Bank of America credit card statement it's gonna be 1032 and 54 cents so that's a lot um, I kind of did go wild on Amazon because there was a spring sale and then 
I don't have that app anymore, which kind of helped me out. But at the same time, I was on my computer searching up stuff and I bought a couple, a lot of things. <laughs> and so that's what like kind of ate up most of my bill for the month of March. And also I did eat out a lot too with my sisters. So, and I went to brunch with friends and yeah yeah <laughs> so let me just see like all the calculations that i need to do um let me see my discover like i want to see like the categories of how much i spent in food how much i spent on amazon how much i spent in like coffee or matcha i should say because that's what i was drinking because i did start i did start drinking the lavender matcha from starbucks it's so good it's super sweet but i really really like it so i've been like purchasing a lot of that and not only like just for myself but like for my sisters too and then um what else it's just a lot i just looked at my discover credit card oh my god i spent so much <laughs> i'm kind of shocked no you know what because on the discover credit card i put the payment for the hotel so that was like about 400 i want to say and that's why it's a lot so i need a not stress myself out so much but right now my credit card statement for discover is 1314 and one cent i hate that it's one cent only um but yeah let me categorize my spending and see where all my money actually went to <laughs> Okay, so for this month, all my credit card statements combined together, I spent $2,321 with 30 cents. Now, I do need to return some stuff on Amazon. I'm going to return like two items and I did do some returns too. So it's also considering the stuff that I returned. But I also forgot that this month, I there was like a, um, we had a birthday at our work and I collected money from my co-workers to like do like a little catering for one of my co-workers and that was about like $200. So that's where that came from and then like $250 was from the hotel and then the rest is all me. <laughs> so I need to figure out like how much money I collected from like my co-workers because I know I collected like 215 or so and that also included like I also bought a birthday cake too um what else and then the food this is kind of scary to like <laughs> figure out how much money I have to like pay too um let me see how much I spent for my travel still too so for my travel expenses I had a beginning balance of 1500 and so far what I've spent my available balance right now is telling me 762 and 4 cents so i've spent 737 and 96 cents plus the travel that i have here for my credit cards that weren't considered into that um let me see that's a total of 500 535 and 39 cents so I spent on my travel expenses $1,273.35. So I also do have like I think $358.90 from like the hotel. Yeah, so I'm just going to deduct $360. So technically for my travel expenses, I spent $913.35. So minus the 1500 I have 586 and 65 cents to spend for Las Vegas this weekend. And it's only a one-day travel thing. I told my sister I didn't want to stay there for too long because I already felt like I already spent so much money from like when I, my trip to Arizona. And this was kind of like last minute too. So we're traveling Friday, being there Saturday and coming back Saturday. And I wanted Sunday just a day for me to just reset basically i want to do my laundry i want to do my meal prep and so that's the only reason why i said that i want to do like a one day trip for las vegas because of that because on monday i have to go back into work and i haven't been into work for the whole week today i have it off but thursday friday i'm still working at least from home but i just need to prep on monday like my bag my food 
snacks and I want to wake up early because I want to buy me and my coworker um, some coffee because she helped me out with my accounts so that's what I want to do and then yeah so Sunday is like my reset day I also want to work on some orders too if I can it's it's gonna be busy and I have some orders pending and I'm like kind of like stressing out about that because I haven't had a chance to look at the orders and I still have to do some other things behind the scenes for my shop and it's just like getting a lot and <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of work for the next couple days I think before I go to Vegas and then coming back from Vegas so and then <laughs> my sister she just told me this morning she's like if we were to stay another day, would you have gotten mad? I'm like, I would have gotten the plane home instead. Because I'm like, I really would just want to get home. And like, yeah, I just feel like I need to stay home. I think just traveling too much within like one week, it's too much for me, I think. And, and it doesn't give me anxiety. It's just like, I feel like I need to stay home. Like I can't be out and about all the time either. So that's how I feel. <laughs> like I need to be home. Well, actually, I'm going to start paying off one of my credit cards. And I'm going to pay half of the other credit card. And then I'm going to set my budget for April. So let me look into that and see what I need to do. Like, because I have all the money from the travel right here. I need to, and I need to put back like whatever amount that I spent back into that checking account. So that way I like balance it out, I guess. It, I know what to do. Basically, I just don't know how to explain it. And uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> This is my wallet for like groceries, gas, and whatnot. And then I have the 950 that I had set myself last month. And then I have the 1,500. And then I have the 360 for the hotel and this hiking trip that we did. And then I have $200 from the catering that we did for work. And so I have a total of cash, $3,010. So from that, I am going to deposit, I think most of it. Um, I'm trying to figure out how... If I should just take out the money that I have available for the traveling, I think. But I need to figure out. I'd rather just put it all in instead and then figure it out afterwards. I think that would be easier. But before I go on to setting up for the month of April, I want to go over like my spending categories. So it is a lot. I think like I am going to be able to pay off my credit cards because I have more than enough money to pay it off. So like I owe 2321 and minus that i have a leftover balance of 688 and 70 cents and that is basically coming from the money of my traveling expenses so i think i was thinking maybe i should just take out that money that 688 from this the pile but i don't think i want to do that i want to I think i just want to have it on my debit card instead for like any fun money that i want to spend in vegas and i don't gamble or anything the fun money is like me buying stuff like shirts or something cute or food i think i'm gonna spend it mostly on food instead but we'll see from that <laughs> um but let me go over the spending um category amounts because in total it was like 2321 and 30 cents and uh, it's a lot but most of it did come from my traveling and also from money that I got from my co-workers for doing the catering because I did put on my credit card and then the money for the hotel and the hike that we did um, I, we split that into thirds so I have the uh, 200 the 360 from my friends and then uh, I think that's it so let me go over like the categories of how much I spent so I have seven different categories that I do for my budgeting so first i have subscriptions which are like my monthly subscriptions of like my apple apps or like the google storage and in this case i also included like a purchase from a firm i bought some soaps <laughs> and 
and this was from last month I believe and so I think I finished paying it off I needed like two more payments um, so next month it'll be like $40 less but for subscription I spent $69 and four cents and then for gas I only went twice this month and which was good because I have a limit of like 130 for gas and I spent 125 and two cents for groceries, I actually didn't go grocery shopping this month because as I mentioned, I did eat out a lot instead. So I spent $34.95. Amazon is what kind of like messed me up a little bit because I did spend a lot and I spent $396.37 on Amazon. Now I do need to return two more items. So hopefully it'll be around like $300. $30 if anything but still that's a lot and that's me without having the app and I did go a little bit crazy and I need to see remind myself like what I bought myself because I actually don't remember anymore I know I bought like a silicone case for my makeup brushes like for travel and then I bought some new nail polishes for gel and I need to redo my nails so my nails are really bad right now <laughs> and uh, I bought like some oh i bought some i bought some yoga pants which are really comfortable and i really like them they were on sale for like 22 dollars and normal price is like 27 or something and they're really really comfortable so i, I bought two of those i bought like a little or two vest jackets like the poofy vest i liked one more than the other and i think i'm gonna return one of them and then i what else did i need to return there was something else i had to return oh because i bought three of the yoga pants I bought one in the wrong size. Well, not the wrong size. I want to see how it was going to fit me, but I need to return that one back. And so that was like 22 And then the sweater vest, um, I think that was also about like 20 something, 22 So that's a $40 back that I'll be getting at least. So yeah, I need to see what exactly I spent on Amazon because I know there was like little things that I spent on Amazon. And I know I'm using them. I just can't remember what they are right now. <laughs> It was mostly like travel little things. Now for shopping, I spent $454.66. So I did do some damage at TJ Maxx. That's where I spent most of my money at because I went to TJ Maxx three times this month. And each time I went to TJ Maxx, I spent over $50. One of the trips to TJ Maxx, I spent $129.33. So... I know what I spent it on. I spent it on um, on two blankets that were really, really cute and a cardigan with flowers. So I'll eventually wear it in the in one of these videos, but I spent it on that. And then I did buy little little things for my coworker too for her birthday. And then um, what else did I buy that I can't remember anymore? Oh, jewelry. I spent it on jewelry because I've been wanting jewelry for a while and I spent some on like earrings. Um, bracelets and necklaces so this is one of the necklaces that I bought from at TJ Maxx and each one is like $20 or so so it does add up a lot so that's what I spent myself or that's what I spent at TJ Maxx and then uh, we also went to Target I went with my mom and I told her I'll pay for her stuff and then um, Etsy I bought I forgot what I bought something like a downloadable something for Etsy that I was using oh I need to pay myself back for that because that's part of my business that I spent. So I, I bought something on Etsy that I can use for my business. And so I just need to pay myself back for that. It was only $5.98, so it's not too much. So I probably might not even pay myself back on that. I should, but I, I don't know. We'll see. And then um, Michael's, I was looking for the, um, what's it called? The silhouette blades for my machines, but I didn't find any. But I did find... A frame that I've been wanting for a poster and I'll show you guys the poster later on once I actually hang it I just haven't hung it but it's a cute poster one of the designs that I made and I've been meaning to hang it up so um, I bought the frame for that that was like 15 something and then two dollars on renting shoes for a spin class so I did that too so yeah the total added up to 454 and 66 cents for food I spent the most on it was 705 and 87 cents 
So just remember like 200 and something did come from like for work. So I was able to pay off that. A lot of it came from, I want to say eating out. And I did go to um, Temecula to the wineries for my friend's birthday. So there's like a lot of celebration and we drank wine. So I, so I paid like for the testers and each winery costs about like $30 or so plus tips. So it adds up. Um, I went to... A little cafe and I went to brunch and then I paid for brunch for me and my friend for her birthday and uh, yeah so that's why it, it adds up a lot for that so total 705.87 cents for travel uh, what I put on my credit card I spent 535 and 39 cents so I so in total it was 2321 and 30 cents that I spent for the month of March and I, it seems like a lot, but kind of evens out in a way. I don't know. <laughs> but next month I am going to do better. I am going to track what I spent and I want to save money for my hair. And I think I want to get a haircut. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like not a haircut, like making it short, but I think I kind of want like the wispy bangs. No, not bangs like this, but like some face framing cut pieces. I don't know I don't know yet but I know I want to touch it up because I could see the roots and I want to touch up my hair and maybe well for sure maybe I'll probably get my split ends cut as well I always like doing that and maybe yeah I'll probably get some face face framing cuts here so that way it's like a little bit shorter and I like it, the face framing because then when you put your hair up like you see your little pelitos coming out and that's what I like and I also want to start saving up money for my birthday too. Um, I want to have like a lunch or not lunch. I want to have dinner here at home. And yeah. So let's see how I can budget for the month of April and see what I can do. I need to move money around too. Like for example, the money that I was saving for my travel, uh, for my trip to Arizona. I no longer have to save it, but I can allocate that to my hair and my birthday so I can do that. So let me figure out my budgeting for the month of April. So I finally figured out my expenses for the month of April. So I have a projective income coming in at 4,100. So I did calculate in for my monthly income at my actual full-time job and then I am pulling out $470 from my uh, sticker shop so that way like I can allocate that towards my bills and savings and I forgot to mention for the month of March I don't or for like for this month I should say I'm not gonna take out money from a um, from my sticker shop only because we had an extra Friday so I know like that evened out the amount that I can like save up for the $500 that I was taking out each month from the cafecito designs but because of that extra Friday I can um, adjust that on my end and so these are my spending categories for the month i have four so i have groceries gas dining out and shopping so for groceries i plan to spend 200 dollars. gas i plan to spend 130 dollars. dining out 340 and shopping 330 dollars. so that is my limit of a total of one thousand dollars that i can spend on my own um, for the month of april now for bills, in total, it's coming out to $1,900. So for rent, I pay $1,500. For Wi-Fi, I pay $65, but I rounded it up to $70 instead. So $70 in Wi-Fi. For the phone bill, which includes six lines, that's a total of $290. And then I added the category subscriptions for this month. And I think that's what I'm going to do instead too. Um, I am planning out for $40 for subscription. So that includes like I have Apple Music, I have Lightroom on my phone. There's one other subscription that I can't remember. And then I have the Google storage photos. So in total, it comes out to like 37 something. So I'd rather have $40 even just in case. And so that is my total of $1,900. And then for savings challenges, I have my three savings challenges. I have the 10K challenge, which this month I'm going to put $600. I don't think I can make it with $800, so I had to like compensate that. Maybe another month um, throughout this year, I can probably put in a little bit of extra money. And that's my hope. So um, maybe on another Friday or maybe on another month that has five Fridays, I can probably do that. 
And then um, for my Louis Vuitton bag, I forgot to mention that I got $300 back from my old laptop. My old laptop broke. It stopped working in like October, I think. So then that's when I bought my new laptop sometime during like during fall of last year. And the guy that I went to go get my computer fixed, um, he wasn't able to fix it, so he suggested if he could sell my computer in parts. So he was able to um, sell the screen for $300, and he gave me that $300. So I am very grateful for that. He's very, very kind. <laughs> and um, so I got $300. So I just added those $300 in my Louis Vuitton cash savings here. And so now it put me ahead, and I only have like $300 left to... Um, complete my savings challenge so I just need yeah 300 so it's one two three and then I am done so I think I saved or I'm, I am gonna save like 1800 I think yeah so 1800 for my Louis Vuitton bag and the bag that I am looking at is about 1600 and then I don't know how much taxes are so I am trying to consider it into that too. So 1800 I think is like a, a good medium to save for my bag. And then for my hair, I kind of calculated it's about like 400 to get my hair done, I think. I'm just basing it off on like the maximum prices too. And I th yeah, I think it's going to be like 400 or so for my, um, for my haircut. So I am saving $300 for this month. And I have two more weeks because I want to do it before my birthday. And so I am going to book the appointment in a little bit for May 10th. I'm going to save $200 extra for my pay my two paychecks in May uh, for the 3rd and the 10th of May. That's Those are two Fridays. So I get paid every Friday. That's how I calculate it. And so that will give me $500 to spend on my hair. And I think that's good because I know like haircuts and hair coloring and everything is pretty pricey and um, that's why I save up for that. So I have $300 that I'm saving up for my hair for this month so that's a total of savings of $1,200. I was able to like just kind of break even so again my monthly income is $4,100 with my bills that comes out to $1,900. My expenses I'm putting at that to 1000 and then savings 1200 so that is a total of my monthly income so I did a zero based budgeting for this month and this is just like a rough estimate of how much I am going to be getting paid for the month because I know like the base minimum of how much I get paid at work but there are times that I do do overtime and I don't take in consideration for that and uh, I think like that's like the base minimum of how much I get paid and anything left over, it gets transferred to my savings too. So it's like, this is the amount uh, that I want to spend for the month of April. And anything extra, if I do work overtime or something, then that just goes on to my savings. And I don't see that. So I like, I don't want to see it. So that way I won't spend it either. So that is my budget for the month of April. And so I really hope that this month is going to be a better month with my spending. I don't want to overspend either. So I will keep you guys updated in May to see how my budget went, which I really hope it goes well. This month, I think I am going to like withdraw money every every week or every other week. And just to make sure that I don't spend that money, especially like my main thing are my bills. I don't want to spend money on like my bills because... I don't want to be in collections or anything. <laughs> that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some insight to how I budget on my own. And I am actually going to go to the bank now to deposit all the money that I have and also pay off like one of my credit card bills. And then that's it. That's all I'm going to do for today. But as I mentioned, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And there is going to be a part two-ish for like April reset because I need to show you guys my... April reset in general work where I need to show you guys like my April reset where I want to go over my planners and show you guys like what I did for the month like how I decorated it and how I planned for the month and then also I need to update my wall calendar I am currently actually changing my bed covers right now like the duvet cover so I'm, yeah, I have it washing in the background so you might see me with the same outfit because I'm going to record more of this um, April reset today so that way I have two videos ready and this one will be first that I post so yeah I will leave it at that so part two will be coming up the next time I upload and yeah 
But anyways, happy April. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!